hi you guys welcome back to my channel the ninth cup where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose this is going to be a collective reading for the full moons in aquarius we're going to have two full moons in aquarius one at one degree aquarius the other at 29 degrees aquarius and i'm just getting some overall energies i'm gonna do um a three card spread i'll get some oracles and do um tarot using the light series tarot deck i'm really just freestyling here there will be an opportunity for an extended reading if you're interested the links will be <clears throat> excuse me will be down below i'm gonna go through the zodiacal wheel here and we're gonna go through all 12 houses you'll just need to look and see where Aquarius hits your chart what house or houses it hits because that's where the full moon is going to affect you also um, if you know if you have your natal charts um, look and see where Saturn is located and where Uranus is located um, because that can give you some additional insights um, as to like where the ruler of Aquarius is affecting you okay um, so yeah there is that but i'll explain that a little bit more in the extended um, because it is for people who really want to get to know their charts a little bit better and like learn about different aspects so i've said that for those of you who are current subscribers welcome back thank you for being here for helping me grow my channel for those of you who are new welcome my name is karen michelle yearwood i'm an intuitive guidance counselor and i help people like yourself along your ascension journey so i'm looking to see what um vocals I want to use. I know I want to use the Light Sears Tarot deck. I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot deck to get uh, three cards spread on dreams, your current reality, and your fear. Okay, your dreams, your current reality, and your fear. And Aquarius is a beautiful sign. Um, I'm an Aquarius sun, so yes, I'm a little biased. But it rules the 11th house. Okay, so it's hopes, dreams, wishes, community. Um, but Aquarius is really the future. So um, with all this Aquarian energy kind of permeating the collective, we are really going through um, a massive rebirth. Um, and I think, you know, it's it's really due to the Aquarian energy. Well, it's due to a lot of things, a lot of transits, but Aquarius is really dominating 2021. And 2021 is a five year. So big shifts, big changes. If you haven't been feeling it, um, I think you will soon. Definitely into early 2022. Jupiter is transiting back into Aquarius before he goes direct again at the end of the year. Okay. So these are your three cards we have for your dreams. Four of Swords, Rest and Rejuvenation, and current reality is movement choices decisions and your fear is heartache and loss so for those of you who are really working on on bringing things into fruition manifestation this is like source coming through to say like really release the fears of things not working out or working out how you think they will or how you want them to this is about total surrender and i think that's really come going to come to you through um here, I'll stand these up through this uh, rest and rejuvenation. Here's the uh, graphic for it. it's really four of swords um, and thinking about your foundation, right? That's what fours are in numerology. It is about, um, you know, your stability and the fourth house is about it's a house of cancer in the moon, but it's about the heritage family home. What is home for you? You know, where do you feel safe? Um, current reality is movement so changes are coming in like I was saying you know there could be some um, offers coming through for you chances for you to relocate chances for you to take on new projects new opportunities for collaboration things like that but yet there's still a fear of like you being left out things not working out being in a state of disempowerment maybe you know things from your past are plaguing you and um, I think Source is here to say like there are definitely great things on the horizon and have the courage to really move forward. So bottom of the deck is throat chakra, really speaking your truth. And when I split the deck, I usually just do that just for myself. I, I split the deck to see what's there. Solar plexus is there. All right. So that is where you're housing all of your courage, your stamina, your resilience to really um, keep going. And I think for this full moon, it's a great time to really see how you can be of service to your community, right, to a broader audience, or how you can take advantage of collective um, frequencies and generosity, right? Really being a part of um, something that's about um, progression, right? It's about, I was going to say about the future, but yeah, I guess it is about the future, about us moving forward, us kind of give, going into like a new earth, birthing the new earth, so that you can get this sense of kinship, right? And through the rest and rejuvenation, excuse me, through the rest and rejuvenation, I think you're really going to get those divine downloads and insights into where you can best connect, 
right, with people here that are like-minded, um, very visionary, that, that is Aquarian energy. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to go ahead and get um, some cards from the Light Sears Tarot deck. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, communication coming in, Page of Cups, there's the offer. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning in terms of, you know, your self-worth, finances, Nine of Swords. Yep, so there's the fierce kind of um, bubbling up, you know, insomnia, overthinking things. Let me move this up so you guys can see. And Four of Wands, celebration, another four. Nine of Wands, battle weary, working really hard on something. Five of Wands, up leveling, competition, and the Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in. So right at the center of this reading is the Nine of Swords, okay? So that's kind of tapping into that heartache and loss and what I was saying earlier about there being past situations where you did feel left out um, or, you know, things didn't go how you wanted them to. Could could be a series of things. This is a general reading. Could be relationships ending, um, you know, loss and with finances and, you know, having to kind of restructure things. And I think that you're really, you're really spending a lot of time and energy thinking about what could go wrong. And this is really about pivoting and shifting into what could go right. So with this full moon, it's a great time to release um, the, the energies and the thoughts even around what has happened in your past that's connected to where you wanna go in the future. So if this is about building a business or a brand you know, releasing, you know, any type of investments that didn't uh, pull through for you or that were not lucrative or that didn't, you know, weren't rewarding in any way. Um, channeling your energy towards really building. And I think through connecting with a group of people, whether this is through just like classes, workshops, it could be something really simple, you guys, even like joining lives, like we know when tarot readers go live or when, you know, people are on YouTube or, um, social media, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. It could be, you know, really finding that you're, you're getting nourishment, right? Cause mental stimulation as well. That's Aquarian energy through those actions, okay? The first card out was the Knight of Pentacles. That is a building energy. It's slow moving, yes, but it's very careful. It's very, um, you know, mindful of details. Knight of Pentacles crosses his T's, dots his eyes. So this is sort of saying like, you know, take your time with building, release the timelines that you have on things with the eight of wands that is communication that is also movement right because it could literally be travel so some of you could be traveling soon or already have plans to travel um and this could be an opportunity for you to get that rest and rejuvenation that came out first because that's in your dream position so with this i'm tying this into like getting the divine download you need sometimes when we're overwhelmed mentally that blocks out our crown chakra that blocks out our antenna to um right other realms to a higher power so with this page of cups this could be again an offer coming through or this could be an apology a truce um you know some kind of reconciliation or it could just be a simple offer to again be a part of a group be a part of something that is in alignment with your mission with your vision Next up is the Ace of Pentacles. So there is that new beginning, right? The new beginning with investment, the new beginning with seeing the value of yourself, um, increasing your worth. Um, really depends on where Aquarius hits your chart and how um, the aspects are gonna be um, uh, illuminated with this full moon or the full moons. But with this Ace of Pentacles, again, I think that this is like, you know, source really here to kind of give you a little bit of like a, a push or some support in terms of you um, making these moves, these decisions and, and releasing whatever disappointments are from your past, letting go of this nine of swords energy, going towards this four of wands, you know, being in celebration with others, being uh, confident in the security and the foundation that you're building for yourself. And this is a very celebratory energy too. So some of you could be celebrating a win, um, some type of reward in the near future, nine of wands. This is just an energy kind of like um, confirming that you have been doing the work, right? The nine of wands is usually that, it's that energy of like right before you get to the finish line, right? So it's a good time to really think about where you can pivot. You know, I see this as a card to, to really see 
how much you've learned and gained along the way, how much wisdom and insights you've gained, but also to use discernment and, and proper judgment for how you want to take that last step before you get to the 10 of wands, which is really where you end a cycle or you kind of put down burdens and you complete something. Five of wands, this could be an energy of up leveling. Some people, a lot of tarot readers see it as competition or, you know, conflict could be, but I actually see this more as you up leveling, you training yourself. This could be like, you know, you building up um, discipline, um, structure in your life, you know, really. So think of like how people like train when they're, um, when they're athletes, right? They're trained to, to perform a certain way athletically, or they train, some people can train to, you know, be more physically fit. It's just getting better at something, right? This could even be practicing or, you know, writing more if you're more creative and just kind of doing your craft more and more and more to get better. And that could be a part of the movement and choices and decisions, right? Kind of, you know, making like this routine and this regular, um, yeah, regular scheduled uh, series of things you do to bring about movement, right? To get to where you want to go. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a little bit of a still movement. It's waiting to see what's coming in that is going to be in alignment with you. I think good things are there. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. So this is like the connections that I was talking about earlier with the groups, with the, um, you know, like-minded souls, events going on. Yeah. So definitely an energy of... Just by giving yourself some compassion here, you know, um, not beating yourself up, not being too hard on yourself. Let's get a few Moonology cards. And I also have a link below if you guys want to um, become a Soul Purpose patron over on Ribbon. That gives you access to all of my extendeds um, that I put up within 30 days. It's just a few dollars more than purchasing um, an extended by itself. And I'm going to start putting up workshops on there, things about the chart, astrology. So, you know, once you purchase that, you'll have access to that as well. Um, so if you're interested and thank you for joining me again. So if this resonates, please like the video, subscribe if you have not already. First monology card is tight time to breathe out. So that's literally like the first card we got in the psychic tarot deck with rest and rejuvenation. Take time to breathe out. Maybe some of you are going on a vacation to kind of just get away for a little bit. Don't let your past hold you back. So what I've been saying about the situations that have been let down, disappointments, um, any type of betrayals or, you know, falling outs with people, don't let it hold you back. I mean, this is South Node energy, so it could be this full moon, full moons could be illuminating your South Node in your chart for you. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is really about, again, letting go and kind of stepping forward or continuing to step forward because I think you are. Um, show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius love it full moon in Aquarius and this is a full moon in Aquarius reading so I love it when that happens because I think that you know it's kind of like sort of saying like I said what I said right kind of coming through to confirm the energies here show the world the real you so this is about authenticity as well um, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. So there's the compassion we have, bottom of the deck, hold your vision. So, and this is a fixed moon and Aquarius is a fixed sign. So beautiful energy here. I think this is like just, again, a, a push or a um, nudge from source. I'm gonna get some um, star seed, a few cards from the star seed oracle. I haven't used it in a while. Um, so a star seed really resonates with me a lot for, for Aquarius. So let's see. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. Yeah, so you doubt you guys are definitely building, right? Because I pulled the three card spread for dream, current reality, and fear. So, you know, with dream, it's like and canvas here it's kind of like it's like vision board energy right really envisioning what you want for yourself not necessarily putting deadlines and timelines on things but really just being creative with your manifestations and allowing source to really like take the wheel earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time in nature so there's that rest and rejuvenation energy as well as take time to breathe out give yourself a little bit of a break 
and lost lands soul memories and gifts you've done this before so could be a bit uh, of deja vu i know with this like ascension period and rebirth period a lot of people are feeling tired um they're feeling like having weird pains in their body or they just um are having like weird cravings or they're not really um, eating the same way you know it's, it could be a series of different things coming through but I just thought of that with this like you've done this before it could be just the body kind of like acclimating itself to what's going on and then we have Hyreth longing for home homesick for the stars yes yeah, so it's kind of like this energy bottom of this deck is um, weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry so there's that nine of swords energy there's that heartache at lost and lost energy of letting go okay i'm gonna leave it here you guys i'm gonna hop over to the extended we're gonna go through the zodiacal wheel um if this is where i leave you thank you so much for being here i hope that you um become a subscriber if this is your kind of thing and i love you and i hope to see you in the next reading be sure to thrive bye